good evening students so good evening all of you so very good evening once again so welcome to an academy i'm said youtube channel students so myself dr rajendra prasad biology educator on an academy platform students so today's class will be discussing about the topic that is seed so we'll be discussing about 30 minutes for about this topic that is the seed okay so anacarmi is providing so before going to class i would like to introduce about our anacarmi plus subscription students so every day anacarmi is providing free live classes on its youtube channel so i i suggest you to subscribe the youtube channel so that you will be knowing the timings of our classes students so below this there is a description box is available in that there is also link for an academy special uh, free live classes on its an academy app students so you can go to that description box in the description box you will be having the link for the free classes of an academy uh, special live classes apart from youtube channel so apart from this there is another platform so that the name of the platform is called an academy plus platform so on this what happens here is a designed a well designed and dedicated course is going on for students who are preparing for next year medical entrance examination students so that is called an academy plus subscription so that is for the students who subscribe to our courses actually so what is importance of our an academy plus subscription is so premium content so premium content will be available at affordable price so structured live courses and dedicated live doubt clearing session students after every 3 Well, teaching hours. The fourth teaching hour. So fourth day, fourth teaching hour will be a doubt clean session. So you can interact with the teacher, our lecturer, or educator, or whoever maybe, and clear your doubts. Straight. So that is the benefit of an academy plus subscription. So quizzes. So quizzes also will be conducted at regular intervals. So you can discuss the quizzes with the particular educator. So batches. So there will be a batches. so educators will be in batches you can go and join those batches if you are interested students which you are with your favorite educators you can join those batches and daily daily practice paper so daily also you can practice some questions on our website so on our website there is a daily will be having some examination at 7 pm in the evening every time you can just go through that and practice the daily practice papers also and this all you can get for single subscription so our single subscription for one month trial plan if you are interested you can take one month trial plan and go through it how our courses are going on so that you can subscribe for the long term plan students and one month trial plan it is costing about 2250 rupees friends so recently there is one batch was started the name of the batch is called telugu batch in this telugu batch all the teachers all the teachers or all the educators will be taking classes in telugu language so native language lo man native language telugu kabatti telugu lo manake endante teaching anade pakka ga jarugutadi so meeku adi baaga helpful avutha students so detailed explanation so detail ga manake endante telugu lo teaching chestaru taro gaano so telugu medium students evaraina unna vaallu kuda marinta benefit pondi avakasam untadi ee batch course ni teesukunnade kada so ee batch course oka purpose endante syllabus cover cheyadam anadi idi oka main purpose सिलबस कवरिंग तो पा मन के शार्ट कट्स टिप्स ट्रिक्स मन की टाप एडुकेटर्स मन प्रोवैड्तर खचिंग अभी हेल्पल होता है स्टूडेंट्स तो ट्रई चाहिए जॉइन अवे प्लस सब्सक्रिपन सोका इंको बैच आलरे नड़ी दाने मैं कांप्रहेंस बैच कांप्रहेंस बैच सो ने बयालजी सर एंड फिजिस् अं ऐज वेल एस सर कैमिस्ट्री क्लास सो मेन पर्पस इतना कंप्लीशन आफ् दि सिलबस मेन पर्पस सिलबस कंप्लीट तरह मन के एडुकेटर्स टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स मन प्रोवैड्स टापिक वैज टापिक वैज प्राक्टिस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स प्रोवैड्स अब साल्व चूंटर मेरे डे अड़कोड़ सो सो रही फुल अंत मार्क् टेस्ट मन कंडक्ट सो वन मंथ ट्रयल प्रेस टू थौज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रूपी मन के वन मंथ ट्रयल प्रेस चाल तक स्टूडेंट्स सो फिजिस् कैमिस्ट्री बयालजी इंका मैथमेटिक्स अभी टू थौज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रूपी की वस्तना मैं रोजंत मन की मैं ऐप रोजंत क्लास जो मेरे अभी क्लास वाक्चु अब चाल तक अमौंट स्टूडेंट्स चला बेनिफिट पोंतर सो ने सजेस्ट ट्रई चे प्लस सब्सक्रिपन सो मैं सब्सक्रिपन इंट्रस्ट को यूज चयो राजेन्द्र लाइव सो इधर को यूज खचित वन मंथ प्लांत टू थौज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रूपी वस्तु वन मंथ प्ला सो इवे का अन अकाडमी एम चाहिए लांग टर्म प्लांस सो इव का लांग टर्म प्लांस सो लांग टर्म प्लांस सिक्स मंथ प्ला ट्वेलव मंथ प्ला रे लांग टर्म प्लांस स्टूडेंट सो सिक्स मंथ प्ला चूस मंथ प्ला मैं सिक्स मंथ प्ला चूस टेन थौज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव रूपी सिक्स मंथ प्ला टेन थौज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव रूपी की 
మీకు దొరుకుతాయి స్టూడెంట్స్ సార్ తక్కువ అమౌంట్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ టెన్ థౌసండ్ అంటే చాలా చాలా తక్కువ కార్పొరేట్ కాలేజ్లో సిక్స్ మంత్స్కి ల్యాక్స్ ఆఫ్ రూపీస్ తీసుకుంటారు మీకు చాలా తక్కువ అమౌంట్ అదే ట్వెల్వ్ మంత్స్ ప్లాన్ అయితే ఇంకా తక్కువ ట్వెల్వ్ థౌసండ్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ రూపీస్ ఖచ్చితంగా దీని వల్ల మీరు బెనిఫిట్ పొందుతారు స్టూడెంట్స్ తీసుకొని ట్రై చేయండి ఫిర్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ అయినా కోడ్ యూస్ చేసుకుని రాజేంద్ర ఆ కోడ్ యూస్ చేస్తే మీకు ఖచ్చితంగా మీకు తక్కువ ప్రైస్ దొరుకుతుంది సిక్స్ మంత్స్ ప్లాన్ ఏంటంటే టెన్ థౌసండ్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ రూపీస్కి అదే విధంగా మనకి నేను ట్వెల్వ్ మంత్స్ ప్లాన్ అయితే ట్వెల్వ్ థౌసండ్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ రూపీస్కి మనకి అవైలబిలిటీ ఉంటుంది స్టూడెంట్స్ సో దట్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ అవర్ అన్ అకాడమీ ప్లస్ సబ్స్క్రిప్షన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ సో అది మన అన్ అకాడమీ ప్లస్ సబ్స్క్రిప్షన్ సో ఇప్పుడు మనం ఏంటంటే ఈ రోజు టాపిక్ సీడ్ సీడ్ అనే టాపిక్ మనం డిస్కస్ చేస్తున్నాం కాబట్టి దాని గురించి ఒకసారి చూద్దాం కొన్ని మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్తో పాటు ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ కొద్దిగా డీటెయిల్గా డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం స్టూడెంట్స్ సీడ్ అండ్ టాపిక్ మీద సో లెట్ స్టార్ట్ ది టాపిక్ ద సీడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ క్లాస్ ఓకే సో ఇప్పుడు మనం సీ ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ చూడండి ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఈస్ సీడ్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ అప్ ఆఫ్ అంటే సో వాట్ ఈస్ సీడ్ ఈజ్ కంపోజర్ ఆఫ్ అని అడుగుతున్నాడు సో ఎవ్రీ సీడ్ హ్యాస్ సీడ్ ఈజ్ కంపోజర్ ఆఫ్ అనే దాన్ని చూసుకుంటే మనం ఒకసారి సీడ్ డయాగ్రామ్ చూద్దాం సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఎ టిపికల్ సీడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ది సీడ్ ద సీడ్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎ సీడ్ కోడ్ సో సీడ్ ఈజ్ హ్యావింగ్ నో డౌట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ సీడ్ కోడ్ సీడ్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎ సీడ్ కోడ్ సో ఇన్సైడ్ సీడ్ కోడ్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ ఎంబ్రియోస్ యాప్ ఇన్సైడ్ ఇన్సైడ్ సీడ్ కోడ్ యాప్ వీ హ్యావ్ వీ హ్యావ్ కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఓకే సో దట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎ ఎంబ్రియో దెన్ సో ప్రీ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ సో ఒకసారి మీరు చూసుకుంటే బిఫోర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ సో బిఫోర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ వాట్ ఆర్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ హియర్ ఈస్ పోస్ట్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ సో సీడ్ ఈస్ ఫార్మడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఓకే సో సీడ్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ సీడ్ ఈస్ ఫార్మడ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ఇన్ ఎ ఫ్లవర్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆంట్రిస్టమ్ అండ్ గైనీషియం ఇన్ ది గైనీషియం వీ హ్యావ్ ద స్టిగ్మా వీ హ్యావ్ స్టైల్ అండ్ ఓవరీ సో ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ సో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ సో ఓవరీ సో ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ద ఓవరీ ఈస్ కన్వర్టెడ్ ఇన్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఓవరీ ఈస్ కన్వర్టెడ్ ఇన్ టు ఫ్రూట్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఈస్ ఓవరీ ఈస్ కన్వర్టెడ్ ఇన్ టు ఫ్రూట్ సో ఇన్ సైడ్ ఓవరీ వీ హ్యావ్ ఓవ్యూల్ సో ఇన్ సైడ్ ఓవరీ వీ హ్యావ్ ఓవ్యూల్ సో ఓవరీ ఈస్ ద ఓవ్యూల్ ఈస్ మాడిఫైడ్ ఇన్ టు సీడ్ సో ఓవరీ ఈస్ మాడిఫైడ్ ఇన్ టు ఓవ్యూల్ ఈస్ మాడిఫైడ్ ఇన్ టు సీడ్ ఓవరీ ఈస్ మాడిఫైడ్ ఇన్ టు ఫ్రూట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ సో దోస్ ఆర్ దీస్ ఆర్ కాల్ ఇస్ అ పోస్ట్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఈవెంట్స్ సో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ హౌ ఫ్రూట్ ఈస్ ఫార్మ్ ఫ్రూట్ ఈస్ ఫార్మ్ ఫ్రమ్ ది ఓవరీ ఓకే సో ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఓవరీ ఈస్ కన్వర్టెడ్ ఇన్ టు డాక్స్ ఇన్ టు ఫ్రూట్ వెర్ యాజ్ ఓవిల్ ఈస్ మాడిఫైడ్ ఇన్ టు సీడ్ సో లైక్ దట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ పోస్ట్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఈవెంట్స్ దీస్ ఆల్ ఆర్ కాల్ ఎస్ అ పోస్ట్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఈవెంట్స్ సో నా ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ఇన్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ఓవ్యూల్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ద టిపికల్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ఓవ్యూల్ ఇన్ ఏంజోస్ పంప్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ద టిపికల్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ఓవ్యూల్ ఇన్ ఏంజోస్ పంప్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ ఆనాట్రాపస్ ఓవ్యూల్ సో ద టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఓవ్యూల్ ఈస్ కాల్ ఎస్ ఎ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్ ఎస్ ఆనాట్రాపస్ ఓవ్యూల్ సో ఇన్ ఇన్ ఏంజోస్ పంప్స్ టిపికల్ ఏంజోస్ పంప్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఓవ్యూల్ ద టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఓవ్యూల్ ఈస్ కాల్ ఎస్ ఎ ఆనాట్రాపస్ ఓవ్యూల్ సో ఆనాట్రాపస్ ఓవ్యూల్ ఇస్ ఎ టిపికల్ ఓవ్యూల్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ ది ఏంజోస్ పంప్స్ ద టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఓవ్యూల్ ఈస్ కాల్ ఎస్ ఎ ఆనాట్రాపస్ ఓవ్యూల్ so this is a typical anatropus oval which you are seeing on the board okay so sir meri anatropus oval if you see this anatropus oval so so we have outer integument you can see this is an outer integument and we have inner integument so this outer integument so this outer integument forms this outer integument after fertilization it forms a testa and inner integument it forms tegmen okay so this testa and tegmen so these together forms seed coat so what is seed coat is composed of seed coat is made up of testa so seed coat is composed of testa and tegmen okay so it is composed of testa and tegmen so what is testa testa is after fertilization testa the seed coat is formed from integument so that is important point you have to remember what is seed is composed of seed is composed of seed plus embryo so seed coat seed coat is made up of again seed coat is also made up of testa and tegmen so multiple
okay or space small gap or space whatever may be so micro pile so what is the main purpose of this gap or space how it helps is that is micro pile how it helps is the seed during the process of germination seed absorbs water through this space or through this gap or through this micro pile region okay seed absorbs water so multiple choice questions they will ask you their question you seed absorbs water through which point okay seed uptakes water through which point means through a space or through a gap that is called as a micro pile okay so that micro pile you can see in the ovule this micro pile is clearly seen the same micro pile will be left over when it forms the seed also so like that so this is the typical structure anyhow so finally seed is seed is a fertilizer product so fertilizer product of the ovule now let us see what is seed is made up of seed is composed of seed coat and as well as embryo so seed coat and inside seed coat we have embryo so that is the reason we'll take answer as both a and b and we already have seen seed coat is made up of it is also made up of, uh, seed coat is composed of testa it is composed of testa and as well as tegmen we have seen so seed coat is composed of testa and tegmen so testa is developed from the outer membrane whereas tegmen is developed from the inner membrane so it is developed from the inner membrane so let us move to the next question students let us move to the next question next so embryo so embryo is made up of so what is this embryo made up of so see embryo contains so embryo contains no doubt this embryo contains it contains radical so it contains embryonal axis one or two cotyledons no doubt about it now you see this is a typical embryo so this is a so based on this previous question you can see so this is a typical embryo so typical embryo So a typical embryo, you can see this is the this part. Now this part, now where this part? Now this part is called as a central axis. So that is called as a central axis. So the position, the above this central axis, that the so the position above this central axis. So this position that above this central axis, that develops. That region is called as a plumule. So This is called as a plumule. So plumule develops into shoot system. So the plumule develops into a shoot system. So that uh, that region is called as a plumule. That plumule develops into a shoot system or shoot region. What are the plumule develops into? So when this seed, when seed germinates, what happens is when seed germinates, when seed germinates, what happens is above the central axis. So above the central axis, the plumule plumule gives rise to a shoot system. So plumule gives rise to a shoot system so below the central axis so we have radical so radical develops into a root system so radical develops into a root system so plumule develops into shoot system radical develops into a root system now attached to this central axis you have this is one cotyledon okay and this is another cotyledon so this is a typical diagram showing a dicots or dicotyledon okay it is a typical diagram showing the dicotyledons so what are dicotyledons the particular seeds the plants having the seeds and that seed bears two cotyledons here the two cotyledons are present this is first one cotyledon and this is another cotyledon so it is a typical dicotyledon seed now the same thing now so embryo now all these together part of the seed that is embryo so embryo contains we have seen just now so it contains radical so radical and embryonal axis so we have seen you now this is the central axis now this is called as embryonal axis central axis so that is also present then one or two cotyledons if two cotyledons so you can see here in this particular diagram you have two cotyledons so if you have one cotyledon if one cotyledon this is called as a monocot or monocotyledon okay if it is having two cotyledons then it is called as a dicot so one cotyledon is present it is monocot if it is having two cotyledons it is called as a dicot So now, anyway, based on this, according to this question, embryo is made up of so embryo is made up of radical embryonal axis one or two cotyledons. So all of these will be our answer. So let's move to the next question. So let us see the next question. So next question, what is the next question? The following are monocots. Next question was asking. So the following are monocots. Accept. So that is the question. Which are the following are monocots? And accept which one is the monocots? That's what it is asking. So, which of the following are monocots? Accept. So let us see wheat. So wheat is a monocot. 
so maize so maize is also mono cot so it is also mono cot then sugar cane sugar cane is also mono cot then so gram so gram it is a dicot so it is having two cotyledons so the seed of the gram it has two cotyledons so it is a dicot so fabaceae members gram belongs to fabaceae so all these fabaceae members all these fabaceae members have seeds and the seeds are having two cotyledons so seeds are having two cotyledons so plant with two cotyledons all members of fabaceae exhibit the seeds and those seeds all seeds have two cotyledons so it belongs to dicot so whereas wheat in case of wheat you have only one cotyledon so it is a monocot similarly maize maize is also monocot sugarcane is also monocot so let us move to next uh, question so following see so the following are dicots so question was asking all are dicots except except one so what is that except one we will see now again so bean so bean just now we were discussing bean is also a fabaceae member so we were discussing same thing all the members of fabaceae they have seeds and the seeds exhibit the dicot so it has two cotyledons so this is a dicot so similarly gram again so the gram it also belongs to fabaceae it also belongs to fabaceae member so it is also having two cotyledons seed is also having two cotyledons so it is also dicot the same thing again pea plant so pea plant is also a fabaceae member it is also fabaceae member it is also a dicot so that is also a dicot then if you see maize so maize has it is a it belongs to poaceae member so grass family it is having only single cotyledon so it is having only single cot so it is having only single cotyledon so certainly it is a monocot so no exception case so which is the answer finally so maize will be our answer so following all our dicots except so which is that except is maize so maize will be our answer okay so based on this the answer is maize so maize will be our answer Hi Srinivas, so how are you? So welcome to Anna Academy YouTube channel students. Hi Srinivas, so welcome to Anna Academy. So we are discussing, we have, we are having a short discussion on the topic that is seed. So, so join the class and go to the class. Next question: Following are non-endospermic seeds. So next one, next question the. Following are non-endospermic seeds. The question was asking which is a non-endospermic seed. So following are non-endospermic seed except. So there is another exceptional case also. So what is the before that we should know what is non-endospermic seed. So non-endospermic seed means the seed, the seed which do not, which do not, which do not contain. Endosperm. So, like that also, we can define which do not contain endosperm. That is called as a non-endospermic seed. Or endosperm is consumed. So, endosperm, or we can also tell that endosperm is consumed. So, endosperm is consumed during development. So, during the development of during development of seed. So, endosperm is consumed during the development of seed. So like that, so so that there is no endosperm at all. Such type of seeds are called as a non-endospermic seed. So what are non-endospermic seeds? So inside the seed, after fertilization, after double fertilization, what happens is endosperm is formed. But during the growth of embryo, inside the seed embryo is present. For the development of embryo, what happens is for development of this embryo, so this endosperm will be utilized for the development of embryo. So when seed utilizes that endosperm for development. Such type of seeds where there is no endosperm at all, such type of seeds are called as a non-endospermic seeds. But some seeds, what happen? They retain some amount of endosperm. Even the seed has developed, it, it will be having some amount of endosperm. Such type of seeds are called as a endospermic seeds. And now, question was asking about which is following or non-endospermic seeds except. So, let us see bean. If you take the bean, so bean. So bean is a non-endospermic seed. So no doubt about it. It is a non-endospermic seed. If the cotyledons do not contain any endosperm, it is non-endospermic. Again, the bean is a Fabaceae member. Similarly, gram is also a Fabaceae member. So all these Fabaceae members, they are non-endospermic seeds. The seeds are non-endospermic. So pea is also a Fabaceae member. So it is also non-endospermic seed. So 
so b gram and p so these all are non endospermic seeds they belong to fab ac and they do not they do not contain any endosperm okay yes very good very good sir you are right it is a uh, option d will be the right answer it is castor so castor is the right answer very good students sir very good so welcome to sir so welcome to an academy and so youtube channel okay so every day we'll be having biology class students at 4 o'clock sometimes i may take some other teacher may take some other day you can join those classes also so you can check the timings you subscribe my our channel so that you will get the timings i'll be discussing a few every day every means not every day after for every 3 days uh, one one of my class will be there at 4 pm so we'll be discussing some multiple choice questions and we'll explain the concepts also so like that we are discussing here actually okay So now let us see the next question. Let us move to the next question. So now just now we are discussing no monocot seed. So monocot seed you can see there is a endosperm is present and you have embryo. So that so monocot seeds are endospermic seeds. So best example of endospermic seeds. Okay. So monocots majority monocots are endospermic in nature. Okay. So They contain endosperm. They are endospermic nature. So, can anybody tell me what is the ploidy of endosperm students? Sayed or Srinivas, can you tell me what is the ploidy of endosperm? What is the ploidy? My question is, what is the ploidy? So, ploidy of endosperm. Is it diploid or triploid? That is my question. Like the ploidy. Yes. What is the is it ploidy? What is the ploidy, friends? What is the ploidy? Like more like haploid, diploid will be there, no? So what is ploidy of endosperm? Any answer from your side? Endosperm is haploid or diploid? That is my question, students. Any answer? So if it is endosperm, okay? In angiosperms, you have to remember this, friends. In angiosperms, in case of angiosperms, okay? In case of angiosperms. Endosperm. Endosperm is triploid. Okay. Okay. It is triploid. Okay. So it is three n. Okay. In case of gymnosperms, if you see gymnosperms. In case of gymnosperms, it is haploid. Okay. In case of gymnosperms, what happens is it is haploid. So you have to remember that endosperm is haploid. Endosperm is haploid in gymnosperms, and it is okay. It is haploid. Okay. So it is uh, haploid. Okay. You have to remember the students. Gymnosperm. Okay. In case of gymnosperm. In case of gymnosperms, if you see the ploidy of endosperm, the ploidy of endosperm is haploid. Whereas in case of endos, in case of uh, angiosperms, endosperm is always triploid. Okay, it is always triploid in nature. So that is important point you have to remember here. Okay, let us move to the next question. Which of the following is correct? Which of the following is correct about? Dicot seed. So, which of the following is correct about the dicot seed? That is the question. Which of the following is correct about the dicot seeds? Okay. Now, let us see what is the correct about dicot seed. Okay. So, let us see the first one. So, micro pile. So, micro pile is present above hilum. So, first point it is telling that micro pile is present above the hilum. So, let us see in the diagram. So, where is micro pile is present? Okay. So, micro pile is Present above hilum. So if you see the diagram clearly, hilum is present above micro pile. So micro pile is present below hilum. Okay. So below hilum we have micro pile actually. Okay. So if you see if you see the diagram, so statement A. Now this will be a wrong statement. Okay. So
so micro pile is located below hilum so that is a right statement okay where micro pile is present micro pile is located below hilum next at the end of embryonal axis at the ends of embryonal axis radical and plumule is present so at the ends of the embryonal axis so radical and plumule is present and another question was asking that seed coat has three layers no doubt seed coat is having only two layers seed coat is having only two layers so certainly c so c is a wrong statement a is also a, a wrong statement we'll go, we'll get back to the statement b once again so cotyledon is generally without food reserve okay so question is telling that cotyledon is generally without food reserve okay so if you see clearly in this particular question so ends of embryonal axis ends of embryonal axis no doubt the ends of embryonal axis the ends of embryonal axis uh, so statement b is correct so certainly what happens here is so statement b is correct so statement b is the right statement okay if you still because at the ends of embryonal axis we have radicals we have radical and plumule so you can see here so for example this is the embryonal axis so here we have this region so this is this will be having the cotyledon like this so now here you have plumule and down here will be having a radical okay so ends of the embryonal axis has radical and plumule so that is a right statement but seed coat is having three layers it is a wrong statement seed coat is having two layers okay so it is testa and tegma but sometimes sometimes what happens is some rare cases what happens is so three layers also will be present so three layers may be present if three coat three uh, uh will be there means three uh, if three for example three outer membrane inner membrane means uh, if ovule is surrounded by three membranes then we will get three layers if two membranes means three two membranes only anyhow out of all these the b statement is the only the right statement and c sometimes can be correct and if you see option d cotyledons are generally without food materials generally cotyledons store food material actually cotyledons actually they store food materials cotyledons generally store food materials cotyledons generally store food materials so in how so we'll be taking the answer so so based on that option b so this this statement b is the correct statement next question so which layer is known as eludon layer next one next uh, question let us see the next question which layer is known as eludon layer so eludon layer if you see where is eludon layer is you can check this diagram in monocotyledon seed we find the eludon layer okay now so there is a line here you can see this one this one now this one this part is called as a eludon layer now this one now this whole part now this whole part is called as a eludon layer okay so that is eludon layer what is this eludon layer is made up of that is a question chemical nature question is asking what is this eludon layer so this eludon layer if you see this eludon layer it is made up of it is a made up of protein okay so that is the first point we have remember eludon layer is made up of protein it is made up of protein second thing you see the ploidy just now we discussed in ploidy eludon layer is also triploid eludon layer is also triploid in nature you have to remember this students like endosperm endosperm is triploid similarly here what happens is eludon layer is also triploid eludon layer is also triploid in nature so which layer is is called eludon layer means so protein so protein so it is a triploid in nature and it is a triploid in nature its ploid is triploid okay it is made up of protein next question students plumule plumule and radical so plumule and radical in the monocot seed is enclosed in a sheet so plumule and radical in monocot seeds are enclosed in so let us see monocot seed where is radical you see this is a radical and here you see plumule so plumule is enclosed by so radical first you see radical radical this part is radical now this is enclosed by so this is enclosed by this structure 
So what is the name of the structure? This is called as a coleorrhiza. Similarly, plumule. Plumule is enclosed by. Plumule is enclosed by this part. Plumule is enclosed by this part. Now this part is called as a. This part is called as a. Coleorrhiza. Okay. It is enclosed in the coleorrhiza. This part is called as a radical. So radical is enclosed by coleorrhiza. Similarly. Now this part is called as a coleoptile. So coleoptile is enclosing. So coleoptile is enclosing plumule. So coleoptile is enclosing plumule. So based on that, according to our question, so plumule and radical. So radical is enclosed by. So plumule is enclosed by. Okay. So plumule. Plumule is enclosed by. You can see in the diagram. So plumule. Now this one plumule is enclosed by coleoptile. So plumule is enclosed by coleoptile. Then radical is enclosed by coleorrhiza. So finally, our answer is option C will be our answer. So based on C, the based upon this diagram, we will be taking the answer as option C will be our answer. So option C will be answer. Now let us see the last question for this today's session. Select the incorrect statements. So let us see first statement. Monocot seeds are generally endospermic. So this is a right statement. This is a correct statement. Majority of monocots are endospermic in nature. That is a right statement. Then in maize, in maize, if you see in maize, seed coat is membranous. See in maize, what happens? Seed coat is membranous, and it is fused with the fruit wall. So seed coat is membranous, and it is fused with the fruit wall. So this can also be a right answer. Then in monocot seed, single large shaped cotyledon. And it is known as a scutellum. So, single largest cotyledon is present. So, single large shield cotyledon. So, it is not not exactly it is known as a scutellum actually. Then, in orchids, in orchids. So, in orchids, what happens? Seeds are non-endospermic. So, that is also correct. Seeds are non-endospermic. Orchid seeds are non-endospermic. So, once again, let us see. Option A. If you see option A, monocot seeds are endospermic. So, this is a correct statement. Then, in mo in maize, seed coat is membranous, okay. So and generally fused with fruit wall, okay. So then, in monocots, is single shaped large cotyledon known as scutellum. So that is also monocots. It is large, single shaped large. That is called scutellum. That is the right statement. So this will be. So in seeds are also non endospermic. That is the right statement. So question is asking about which is the which are the incorrect statements we have to identify which is the incorrect statement so most relevant if you see which is the correct statement d is no doubt it is correct then we can take a is also correct statement so we are left with the b and c okay so b is also actually correct actually seed coat is a membranous in nature and generally fused with seed Fruit wall that is also correct. So none of the above will be our answer. So finally, so all statements are correct. Okay. So none of these above will be our answer. So maize also seed coat is membranous, fused with fruit wall that is also correct. Okay. So monocot seed, large shaped cotyledon that is called scutellum that is also correct. So based on that, none of these above will be our answer. Okay. So none of the above will be our answer. So that is end of today's multiple choice question discussion, students. Let us once go back. So before closing the session, so I would like to introduce about our An Academy long term plan, students. So An Academy is providing. So An Academy is providing free classes every day. So I suggest you to take the long term plan, students. Six months plan. This costing about ten thousand one hundred twenty-five rupees, and twelve months plan is costing twelve thousand three hundred seventy-five rupees. If you are interested, you can use my code Rajendra Lai to get the six months plan of about ten thousand one hundred twenty-five rupees and twelve months plan of twelve thousand three hundred rupees. Students, so twelve months plan, six months. These are the best plans, long-term plans, and very less amount. Okay, so I suggest you to take this long-term plans for long-term plans. Certainly, it will benefit for you for your medical entrance examination preparation, students. So thank you students so this is